Dr. Bradshaw here. Listen, functional medicine patients, there are going to be times when I'm going to teach you uh, treatments, what I would call adjustments to your spine, to your joints, that will kind of replace what a chiropractor could do for you. This is one of them. It's called a hip pop manipulation. We're talking about the hip sockets, right? So where the hip thigh bones come up and there's a ball and socket joint, there's a ball, sorry, the socket and the ball joint from the hip comes up and that can get out of place, particularly with us sitting way too much. Our hips are flexed into that position. So if this is a socket and this is the ball, a normal orientation would be like this. If we we're standing, when we sit, it rotates like this. And oftentimes if we sit day after week after month after year in this position, sometimes that joint can literally be kind of forced forward. It starts to put pressure into that joint, becomes hip pain. We can release that hip tightness by doing this exercise and getting that hip back into neutral. So here's how you do it. You're going to spread your feet pretty far apart. I recommend you do this near a wall so you don't lose balance, okay? Feet are pointing directly straight ahead, quite a bit apart as you can see. What you're going to do is you're going to imagine turning your hips to, in this case, I'm going to turn to this side. You're going to turn the hips as this hip drops down this way a little bit, almost like this. So if my hands were on my hips, watch what this hand does as I turn. That hand goes from here, it turns in and it drops down. So that's what the hip is doing. And as you do that, you will feel that ball and socket joint release. It already did. You maybe didn't hear it from where I'm sitting, but I felt it click. It pops back into place. We'll do the same thing on this side. I'll try to be quiet, see if you can hear it, if it pops on this side. But regardless, watch this hand as I do it. You're going to turn to the left and down. Ah, yeah, there it was, and it released. You may have heard that, maybe not. So the key is to twist and drop that hip down a little bit. That's where the ball can release back into place. So <laughs> if you don't get it to pop, that's okay. We're still stretching out the muscles that are problematic, that are pulling that ball and socket joint out of place. You're getting those to release, and eventually you might get that to pop back into place. Once it does, you'll feel like a release into your hips. It feels really good, particularly if you've been doing a lot of sitting. So that's just a great thing you can do. Manipulate your own joints and take care of yourself and your spine and your joints on your own. Okay, enjoy.